This video will prove to you, King James was a Freemason, and the King James Bible 1611, was contaminated, with Masonic poison. This Masonic Philatelic Club website says, The oldest existing record, of the Lodge Schoon, and Perth number 3, Perth, Scotland, called, The Mutual Agreement, of the 24th of December, 1658, records that, King James, was, entered Freemason, and Fellowcraft, of the Lodge of Schoon, on the 15th of April, 1601. The mural of the Lodge, depicts James VI, kneeling at their altar, at his initiation. These two Masonic history books, documented King James, as a Freemason. The 1898, History of the Ancient Masonic Lodge, of Schoon, and Perth. The Hiram Key, by Christopher Knight, and Robert Lomas. 1996. The Hiram Key, confirms King James, a Freemason, a speculative Mason. Quote, King James VI of Scotland, also later James I, of England, was the only child, of Mary Queen of Scots, and the first king, to rule both England, and Scotland. He was also the first king, known to be a Freemason, being initiated into the Lodge, of Schoon, and Perth, in 1601, at the age of 35. At the age of 37, two years after becoming a Freemason, James became the first Stuart King, of England. James was a speculative Mason, and also wrote books about kingship, theology, witchcraft, and even tobacco. End quote. The Hiram Key, credits King James, as the king, who built the Masonic Lodge system. Quote, With the king, a speculative mason himself, and the power of the pope, blocked for all time in Scotland, the need for utter secrecy, was suddenly gone. King James ordered, that the existing Masonic structure, be given leadership, and organization. He made William Shaw, his general warden of the craft, and instructed him to improve the entire structure of masonry. Shaw started this major project on the 28th of December 1598, when he issued the statutes and ordinances to be observed by all the master masons within this realm, signing himself as the general warden of the said craft. End quote. The kings and queens, of England, had always wanted, to have authority, over the word of God. The Great Bible of 1539, was the first authorized Bible in English, authorized by King Henry VIII of England, to be read aloud, in the church services, of the Church of England. Because the Tyndale Bible, employed vocabulary, and appended notes, that were unacceptable, to English churchmen, and to the king. The Bishop's Bible, was the second authorized Bible in English, authorized by Queen Elizabeth, in 1568, to eliminate the Geneva Bible, whose Calvinist marginal notes, offended the High Church Party, of the Church of England. The King James Bible of 1611 was the third authorized Bible in English, authorized by King James of Scotland and England. Because Elizabeth's Bishop's Bible failed to displace the Geneva Bible as the most popular English Bible of the age, a new version was needed to conform to the ecclesiology and reflect the Episcopal structure of the Church of England and King James Masonic belief. The Masonic verse in KJV 1611, KJV Isaiah 33 6, replaces God the Most High with Gnostic wisdom and knowledge. 
This famous Masonic verse is quoted on the entrance to 30 Rockefeller Plaza, Rockefeller Center of New York, where the Gnostic creator Laudabioth is playing with his Masonic compasses. The Masonic Church of England and Masonic KJB 1611 were both rejected by Christians in England. King James put them in jail. The Masonic persecution was so severe that Christians had to risk their life sailing across the oceans to the unknown new world for freedom to practice their faith. Throughout our history, the Church of England has appointed new Umas Masonic ministers in glittering Christian costume to guide the gullible to hell. Even today, the Church of England is Masonic ruled. Are Freemasons behind today's Masonic abomination of King James onlyism? Southern Baptist Convention alone entertains 1,300,000 Masonic wolves in sheep's clothing. <laughs>